<clears throat> Good afternoon, PSP Showcase families. Hey, it's Coach Derek with the PSP Showcase team. Got another segment for you today on this Saturday. It's getting to know them. I'm bringing you another special dude. Man, when I say special, this guy is a worker. Kid's name is Ben Nielsen. I'm gonna bring Ben in here now so you can get a chance to have him talk to you a little bit about himself. <clears throat> He's coming on here. Hi, Coach. Ben! Uh <laughs> wearing a Red Sox jersey. I love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> so, hey, everybody, let me introduce you to the PSP Showcase number 28, Ben Nielsen. He's a pitcher, outfielder, athlete, and he's huge. Ben, how tall are you? I'm 6'2. And how much do you weigh? I weigh 180 pounds. 6'2, 180 pounds. Now, Ben, tell everybody your date of birth, place of birth hometown, school you go to, and grade you're in? I was, I was born on July 2nd, 2004, and I was born in Kirkland, Washington, and I've stayed here my whole life. Go to Bellevue High School, class of 2023, and I Sumi is one of my good friends, and you, you interviewed him earlier. Yes, he's a teammate of Hideto Atsumi, not just on my showcase team, but he's at Bellevue High School. So let me take a few minutes to take your time to talk to you about this guy. <clears throat> Trust me, friends and family, I'm not changing to the dark side. I'm wearing this from a man, Ben Nielsen. Uh, <clears throat> ben, you got family from uh, back uh, on the East Coast, right? Yeah, yeah. My mom's from Boston. Uh, like half my family is from that um, East Coast area. They're all Red Sox fans, all big Red Sox fans, all Patriots fans too. Yeah. So we got, we got the evil empire up there, which is kind of cool. <laughs> and, and, and your dad's from where? My dad's from Denmark. And... Denmark and Denmark isn't isn't very baseball oriented, which is kind of cool because then they they get to come to some of my games and they get to try and you know understand and it's kind of cool to see them get excited about things that I do. Yeah. So uh, before we get uh, before I get a chance to talk about him, uh, I want to offer my condolences to your 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 family. Uh, I understand you uh, recently lost your grandfather and he was a a big piece of your life. Uh, if, you want to say some stuff about him and tell us about how special he was? He meant so much to me and my childhood that I, I can't, I can't for, I can't like take that for granted. He taught me to like question the world around me. He taught me to go on walks when I was angry or when I was frustrated and to not, not take my anger out on other people, but to just internalize it and process it. To like stay be a balance, be a balance. Don't be too nice, but don't be like, but don't be angry all the time. Because people that are angry all the time, nobody, nobody gets work done. Absolutely. Yeah. And your family's done a great job with you, Ben. And, and coaches, coaches, friends and family at PSP, if you haven't met this guy, super, super nice kid. Um, <clears throat> you know, we had to give him a little bit of an edge because uh, when he, when he came to me, he was almost too nice. Like, and so um, <clears throat> this is my second year being able to coach Ben. Um, he came, uh, he, he came from another program down south there. And um, when, when I, when I saw Ben, uh, when he came and worked out for me, I was like, I got to have this guy. Like I saw him throw his fastball with movement. I saw him throw his breaking ball. And then just his sheer size when he was 13, I was like, man, this guy's going to be huge. And <clears throat> sure enough, I mean, he's already, he's a man child and he's a freshman. He's a freshman. Coaches, if you need a guy to watch, here you go. Watch him. He's a freshman. And <clears throat> so as I'm going to tell you a little bit about him um, before we get into him talking about himself. So last year we were, we were in a tournament. And in these tournaments, sometimes these, these, uh, these officials, they, they gauge and they, they take uh, measurements on players and such. <clears throat> ben. They clocked your fastball at 64, supposedly. Okay. So your changeup was so effective, <laughs> but your fastball was 64. Yeah. Okay? So when I talk to these guys, they're like, oh, well, we only took one. What? You only took one reading? Like, so <clears throat> ironically, though, instead of getting upset about it, what did you do, Ben? You put work in. Yeah. 
he put work in because he's like, I'm not throwing 64. So if, if, and if you haven't known, I'm a, this is where I'm going get, to get you a shout out too. <clears throat> I talk with catchers. I'm a catcher whisperer. And, I, and <clears throat> so he threw a bullpen. Uh, I think it was yesterday, right? It was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, his catcher said, coach, I think Ben's like 80 at least. And I said, really? He said, he looked good. And he's upper 70s for sure, but I think he's, he's, he's touching 80. And I was like, wow. Okay. <clears throat> so here's a guy that, that could have been just ram, ravingly upset. You know, you're going you're gonna to clock me and put my fastball down at 64 miles an hour. I mean, I, I, I know guys that throw 64 that are like 12. Okay. <clears throat> He went out and instead of getting upset about it, he just worked. He, he just shoved it. And there was one game, you just went out there and just carved that team up. You were just like, pow, pow, pow. And I asked him, hey, Ben, you want to go another? Yeah. He did not want to come out. So, again, coaches, if you're looking for a guy that's, that, that, that's, that's going to get it done, I'm telling you. Um, I failed to mention, he's, I think maybe I did. Uh, he's a pitcher outfielder. Um, <clears throat> but last year, um, we, we worked a lot on hitting and there was, there was a couple of games where, man, he hit the ball a mile and it was like at the warning track. And then there was a, a, a towards the end of the season, it just flourished. It just happened like pow. Oh, there it goes. It's over the fence. Boom. Bam. Ben stand on second base and Hey Ben, how you go? So <clears throat> again, a guy that didn't let setbacks, you know, you hit the ball right at people. It's going to fall. Boom. Next thing you know, he's fixing some things and bang, it just kind of comes together. And so that, that was an outstanding thing that he did. Um, so Ben, let's talk about you. Uh, I'm going to let you talk about you. You mentioned you uh, go to Bellevue High School. What's your favorite subject out there at Bellevue High School? Um, well, I love, my, I love my LA class and I love my history class. I feel like I have such good teachers in both of those classes. My LA class, I have two teachers. But in my world history class, he's really, he's, his name is William Lindsay. He's a super, he's a special, he listens to ev what everybody has to say. And he's just, he, he's so like, and he's good. He makes history interesting. And for me, history is like difficult to make interesting, but he makes it like, he, he engages us and he makes it, you know, makes it fun. And I really, I appreciate him for that. But I've always loved, um, I've always loved LA because I feel like I really like writing and I really like reading especially when it's stuff that I'm interested in. Like if it's, if it's about sports and stuff, then I can, I, I can do that all day. I love, I love writing about sports. And I love, it's, it's just really fun. Awesome. So speaking about writing about sports, <clears throat> I'm wearing my Dwight Evans jersey today. Okay. Give a shout out to Dewey there. But, you know, there's so many great Red Sox baseball players. And I gave the team an assignment to write about a player. And you shocked me. You shocked me. I was like, whoa, I was excited. And his writing's phenomenal. If you haven't looked on our team page there on, uh, on Facebook, you can find his, uh, his, his work. You wrote about the man. Who did you write about? Ichiro Suzuki, coach. I wrote about Ichiro Suzuki. Ichiro. Tell Ichiro. Me why you chose Ichiro. I love Ichiro. I love him. He he get he puts in so much work all the time. He isn't a big guy. He is not a big guy. And he puts in but he puts in so much work that he has to be he's a force. No pitchers can't figure out how to get him. They just can't. He just he's able to hit a, he's able to hit singles everywhere. He's the only person that have tens like he's the only person in the modern era to have ten straight seasons of two hundred straight hits of two hundred hits. He's so good. And I also I have a I have a ball signed by each other, so that's also that's also a fact. <laughs> awesome! Don't get rid of that, man. Oh, I'm never, I'm never. Doing it. Ichiro didn't sign a whole lot of autographs, so, um, <clears throat> but he did sign an autograph for for my family when we went, and and I have a lot of respect for Ichiro's game and and uh, his gamesmanship, and and he he's kind of, you kind of remind me of him. I mean, we'll, let's remove nationalities and all that, just demeanor. Like he's he's it's kind of a quiet leader, like just kind of just goes about his business, work, 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 work. And then you go in game, get it done, get it done, get it done. And <clears throat> you kind of take on those traits too. Like you, you, you're kind of the quieter guy. You're not going to be in somebody's face and super intense, but you just kind of, you're even keeled and you just go out and smash and chuck and, and 
walk off the mound with a smile. I did get you a little excited though when you were carving up that team after I told you they threw, had you 64. You, oh yeah, <laughs> you were pumped. You were like, yes. I was like, yes, I love this. I, I love seeing this part of Ben. Um, <clears throat> so. Your favorite subject, you talked about history and language arts and all that. And uh, I love giving shout outs to Bellevue High School. That's awesome. Um, and you, you, you talked about your writing with Ichiro. Um, <clears throat> and you, we, we mentioned work. So we live in a, we're, we're, the times we're living in right now, it's super hard for athletes. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's challenging. But you're one of those guys that's going to find a way to get stuff done. Um, during this lockdown and, the, and, the, and this craziness we're going through right now, what are things you've been able to do to continue to push to make yourself the better athlete you are? Well, I mean, this is an awful, it's an awful situation for everyone involved, but I, I've just been looking at this situation to get better, not just maintain. I wanted to get better. I wanted to see improvement. So I, I tripled my workout routine every day, my daily one. I do it instead of 200 crunches a day, I'm doing 600 crunches a day. Instead of, instead of, 80 push-ups, I'm doing 240 push-ups. And I'm doing, instead of 100 Russian twists, I'm doing 300 Russian twists every day. Because I feel like without, this is, this is, this is for me, I've, I've tried to look at it on the positive side. I've tried to look at it, this is like a gift for baseball players. This is, I know it's, you're getting rid of a lot of the season. I, I know that, that sucks. But you're getting more off season. You look at this on the bright side. Look at, you can, you can train all day. Right. And you weren't able to do that before. I go, I go down to the park every day. I can hit. It's, it's great. I get to, I do my, I have time to do all my armbands all the time. I, you have so much time to do so much. And the thing you said was, if you're bored, work, right? Like that, that comes to my head all the time. I'll be sitting on the couch, and I'll be like, well, I already did my workouts for today. I'm not sure what I should do. I've already hit, a, I did, I already hit off the tee this morning. What should I do? And then. I just go down again because there's, there's nothing else you can be doing better. Netflix is always going to be there. Right. right? Netflix is going to be there even when I'm in college or something. Netflix is going to be there forever. I'll be able to watch anything I want, whatever, but I'm not going to be able to put in the work. All the time. Absolutely. Right. And, and this is the time, like Ben alluded to folks, um, the water and oil separate itself. You know, there's going to be guys that are just coming off their couch <clears throat> and you know they had the excuse of we're on lockdown i i didn't have a lot of time and you didn't have a lot of time like ben said you, you got you got plenty of time to watch netflix and all, watch movies and hang out with your friends you can do that when your baseball career is over <laughs> when, yeah. when you're chasing your dreams <clears throat> you got to put the work in so um speaking of such chasing your dreams and such uh, ben, what are some goals you've set for yourself in the classroom and some goals you've set for yourself in athletics? Well, in the classroom, I want to have I want to have a three six at least every every semester. I know Bellevue is kind of a hard school, so I feel like a three six is a good it's a good benchmark. I had a three four last semester. I fell short, but I'm, I'm going to keep working on trying to get better and balancing school and baseball more. And. For baseball, I hit 80 miles per hour for the first time on in December, I think. Yep. And so my goal is to be consistently at 80 by the end of the week, by the end of the year. I want to be I want to be chucking 78 at lowest. I want to be throwing 80 consistently. Because I feel like if I'm there, then I'll be set up well for myself. And so, in the big picture, Ben. What is your goal for baseball after high school? I want to play in college. And I feel like once I get to college, I'll see, I'll see what happens. But I, I love this game. I love it more than anything. And I want to play it for as long as I possibly can. I, it's, it means so much to me. It means, it's meant so much to me since I was four and I was checking the standings page on MLB and MLB.com every day. I would look at, I would look for highlights. Yeah. I would look for stats. I, I knew everybody in the league when I was, when I was like, at, since from such a young age, it's just meant it's been so, it's been such an impact. It, so it's been so impactful in my life and it's just been, it's always been there. Yeah. And my love for it has always been there. So I'm, it's, it just means so much and I want to go as far as I possibly can. That's awesome. Yeah. And <clears throat> coaches, again, you, you heard him talk, you know, um, in December, he, he hit 80 on the gun for the first time and, and 
he's smart. He's a smart athlete. He's talked about his grades, but between the lines and between the ears, <clears throat> he knows their steps and he knows that he, he's, he has benchmarks. He set goals for himself and his big picture goal. He wants to play in college. He wants to play as far as he can. Um, but he's also realistic knowing that he has to set these smaller goals up as he works through these. And I alluded to <clears throat> before I brought him in, he's, he's such a hard worker. Like I, I, I think last year uh, on a daily basis, I, if, if I didn't see Ben in the cage or throwing, I, I thought he was out sick or something because he was always down training at the facility and <clears throat> work, work, work. And um, last year was kind of like your first year of kind of being more of a regular outfielder and, and working on foot speed. And like he's, 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 he's a big guy, but he can move for a big guy. And so working on his hips and foot speed and running balls down and using his cannon from the outfield, um, <clears throat> again, you know, doing the long toss and doing the stuff that he needs to to get to the smaller goals that lead to the bigger goals. So that's outstanding, Ben. That's, I, I appreciate you sharing that. Now I'm going to ask you to talk to some of the younger generation, the kids, <clears throat> 11, 12, maybe even 13. These guys that are coming out of Little League, what's some advice you could give to them or some insight you could give to them at, that you, things you might have gone through that have got you to where you are in, in high school and now in a showcase baseball program? Well, no matter what, work pays off. It always does. For, for baseball, it always does. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you do it by yourself. I always, I always, I've been doing it by myself for a while now. But when I was little, I'd play catch with my mom or my dad. And it would just, it would, it, I would work like as much as I could because I wanted to be good at Little League. But I'd, I'd only work for like, for the springtime. And I would be one, I was one, I was one of the best players in the league, but I'd only work on in during springtime. If yeah. I were working all year round, I'd be, I, I'd be the best, I'd be the best in the league, right? So if you, if you can find something where you can go and hit like once, like in the off season, like once or twice a week, and in your little league and you're doing that for once or twice a week, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to do something. You're going to do things, dude. Like, right. If you can, if you can find a way and if you, and if you're doing it more then make sure you don't burn out, but like, you're going to do stuff when, when season comes, it's going to be, it's going to be something else and you're going to see the results. So Ben just alluded to putting in a lot of work, but something I want to highlight and point out, and he, he mentioned it just a little bit ago, and it ties into his work and how hard he works. <clears throat> when you love the sport you're playing, it doesn't seem like a job. It doesn't seem like work. And Ben has a passion for baseball. He loves it. So like I said, when I saw him like almost every day of the week, it, it just seemed like man maybe he's maybe he's burning himself out ben loves baseball and and it's it's part of who he is it's like he's probably got laces on his heart you know he, he you know um but when you when you have a passion for the sport the work just comes natural you know um and when you love the sport it, it, it's it's just it is a natural feeling and flow um so ben um you, 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 you had a chance to talk to everybody um, today about, you know, who you are and all that. Um, we, uh, one thing I didn't mention was your nicknames. Um, we talk about calling him Ben 10 um, and <clears throat> Big Ben. Um, I, I, I wanted him to wear the number 10 so it would fit, but then I realized two and eight add up to 10. And then we started talking about Ben's 10 was his swing, the perfect swing, you know, and, and he works on crafting that swing um, <clears throat> continuously. He's another guy that shows up early before practices to get work in. Um, and again, coaches, if you're looking, at, looking for a guy that's got the projectability at the next level, you know, whether it's a pitcher or an outfielder or a two-way player, <clears throat> whatever you're looking for, this guy puts in work and he's not going to take the word. No, he's going to continue to work. And if you're looking for a guy that's going to stay humble through the process, he's not going to, 
He's not going to get flashy. I don't, I don't think I, I, I got him to smile and get a little excited after he hit a, uh, hit a bomb, but it was, it was just more like he wanted to get the ball back. <laughs> but again, you see, he's just, he's just has, he, he's, he carries that smile with him and, uh, I give him a lot. I give him a lot of uh, stuff about his team, the Red Sox. But uh, <clears throat> it's it's that Yankee Red Sox rivalry rivalry we got going on. But it's uh, it's all in good nature and good fun. And Ben's just a great natured kid. So uh, Ben, thanks for coming on here and sharing your your who you are with everyone. Um, coaches, if you haven't followed us, get on there. PSP Showcase Baseball Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, we're on YouTube. Follow Ben Nielsen, number 28. He's with us, and he's with uh, Bellevue High School. Uh, ben, you take care. Have a great weekend, man. Thanks for joining us. You got you.